Okay, so today we have come to our last session where we will now um, discuss our assignment. So for those of you who did not join the other sessions, uh, there are recordings. The recordings are available on uh, Moodle and also on uh, the, our group chat. So I hope you were able to watch them. Were you able to watch the recordings, Martina? Huh? Martina? So today we will have a bit of interactive session. So I'm, I'm going to be asking questions and you guys have to answer. Is that okay? Martina? Okay. Yeah. So I'll be asking questions there. Yeah. Martin, okay. Were, were, yes, you, okay. were you able to watch the recordings on? No, no, I would not be able to watch because the video didn't continue. I just watched it like one minute, the video just got off. The video got off. How come? No, no, I, I would not be able to watch the video. I tried to open it and there was, I started to watch it, the video just went off. It didn't really continue. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll have a look and understand what's wrong with that. Okay, thank you. Bro. Okay, um, so today's session, we will discuss about the assignment. We will discuss about uh, how this has to be done and when is the deadline. So I will show you what I'm expecting to see. Also, you need to send- Can you create a day, sorry. Can you create a day for me to come over for, to the office, please? Yeah, you can come any day, Monday to Friday. Any day? Monday to Friday, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No problem, Martina. Okay. So um, yeah. if there is any issue, uh, just let me know. And as I said, um, today we will discuss about the assignment. So I yes. want to understand, have you ever written um, an essay? on an assignment before, do you know how to write assignments? No, I've never before. Uh, what about you, Ace? Are you yes. Okay? Yes. Okay. okay, so you're familiar to Harvard reference style, right? Yes. Okay, good. So uh, what I'm expecting is, um, um, it is not mandatory, but I'm expecting at least 3,000 words assignment where in this you should have all the topics. So one second, let me just check here. Uh, okay. Okay, so the assignment, it is uh, divided in two parts. So you have to submit a Word document. So this Word document has to be at least 3,000 words report. And then you have to make a presentation. So you have to use PowerPoint to make some PowerPoint slides. So in the Word document, the 3001, it, it, it has some tasks so which you have to do. So let me read the scenario. I'll read out what you have to do. So part A, select use and reference information and, and use software applications, which is coming from LO1, LO2, and LO4. So select four piece of information from recognized electronic academic sources about the advantages and disadvantages of using social media in the academic context and the importance of safeguarding online. So you will use this article to make a poster. So here you have to discuss in 150 words why you are choosing these four articles and fully reference them. Then you have to describe a range of software application appro appropriate for use of academic poster. 
evaluate the usefulness of two software application that will help you create your poster. So justify the use. And in the poster, uh, ensure that you integrate objects such as diagrams, chart, to pictures to enhance the visual communication. Then uh, need to justify the application used before uh, reflection to meet the 2.3 criteria. Then you have to reflect on your experience of creating um, an academic poster in 500 words. Why uh, did you choose to use a certain software application for the project? What went well and what could have been done better? And how might you, might you have used other software application to improve the quality and effectiveness of the academic poster? Then our presentation, which is part B, present your poster to the class on a group to demonstrate your understanding of it safe use of internet technologies in the academic environment, LO3 and LO4. Then include some level of critical analysis about the use of social media in the academic environment. For example, you have to explore pros and cons and compare, compare different use. Then lastly, evaluate issues around online safety and safeguarding. And then you have to make some reason, reasonable uh, uh, judgment about the responsibility, and you also have to argue this, argue a point. So um, what happens is that in this part, you need to um, find four articles. So in these four articles, you now have to, um, these articles have to talk about uh, advantages and disadvantages. So you have to present them with uh, the name, you have to reference them. And in this four article, uh, they have to talk about advantages and disadvantages of using social media. Once you've completed this, there are some discussion and reflection and stuff like that that you have to do. So I would say uh, these four articles, uh, try to find them from Google Scholar, and now uh, you have to reference them. So you have to you have to show where did you find these articles with the citation. So I don't know. I think Ace, she's familiar with uh, um, citing her work. While with Martina, we will need to spend a bit more time to get you used to. How to write assignments. So, so this is a very good website to find articles. Let me just put a uh, word. Uh, academic
because this is how it has to be done, for example. So these are articles where you can now read and paraphrase. So you can rewrite with your own word the information that you got from, that you learned from here, which are related to advantages and disadvantages to social media. Then once that is done, you have to make sure you add the reference. So here there's another example. So there are, you need to do the research and find them. Then you have a citation. So uh, once you write assignment, you have your bibliography where the full reference goes at the bottom while in text, you just have to put this. So you just have to put the name of the author and the year of publishing. So this is how you do the um, in-text citation. When it comes to um, you finding a software, um, you can just go to Google and type software. Google will now give you design software. So Google will give you a suggestion, list of best software for making posters on PC and mobile, Canva, uh, Picture Chart, Adobe Express, Core Hydro, uh, Post by Wall. So I would say the best one is Canva, which is really good for graphic design and uh, loads of uh, freelancers and company use this software. So it is free to use. You just need to sign up on your account. I'm not gonna sign up at the moment because I don't have my credential here. So what you can do is just once you have uh, done task one, which you just find the four articles and you paraphrase them, you rewrite them in your word. You now have to uh, create a poster. So a poster is very easy to make. You just need to include, uh, make sure you include in images or charts or diagrams, which will make your poster more visual, more, much uh, of a, visual communication. Then, yeah, after that, you just need to write a 500 words reflection of our experience. So your presentation has to be really concise. I'd say you have to make some bullet points and add images. So this is uh, pretty much what you need to know. So, also Moodle. You can see there is a, a sample assignment for ICT. This is how you have to make the assignment. You put your, you put the name, student number, the date and the title of assignment, then you put a table of content. So this is as to how you write the, uh, this will be part A, the word documentation. So you put a table of content article. So the four article that you find, 
you paraphrase them, you rewrite them with your own word, and you put the reference. Then this would be a discussion of range. When you discuss the 500 words, then also you need to describe the range of software like Canva and the other ones. Then you also attach the poster that you created with Canva. So for example, this is how you have to do it. You find the article, you reference it, and you add the in-text reference. It will be one article, two articles, three articles. Here you discuss in total 150 words. Then you describe a range of software. So you describe Canva and any other software you use to create your poster. Then here you attach the poster. Once you have attached the poster, put the reference to the software. And here you have the reflection. So you write your 500 word reflection of how you find, how is the experience on writing the assignment. And yeah, then you attach a reference list at the bottom. So as, pull as much reference as you can. And this is how you do part A. Why part B will be a simple PowerPoint. Uh, presentation. Is there any question? Is Martina? No, sir. So you can see from the sample assignment to be easier for you to understand, right? Okay, sir. Logging on. Okay. That's how the assignment has to look like. Okay, we'll try our best. Okay, if there's any issue, just, um, you know, send me a message or give me a call then okay. I can assist okay. you. So okay. make, sure, make, sure, make sure you uh, email it to me first so I can have a look and I can tell you what you need to add, what you need to change. And then you can do your final submission. I don't, I don't understand you, please. Um, I don't have your email. You don't have my email? Oh, oh sorry. No. Let me write it down on the chat now. Okay. Then you said that's when we are done with the assignment to you first. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, send it to me so I'll have a review. So I'll tell you what you need to improve. Okay. 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 Thank you. I'm right. I put my email on the chat. Check. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just copy the email. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, if there's no any other question, then I can end the session today. Okay, okay thank you very much for joining and uh, okay. have a good day. Uh, okay. Bye. Yeah.